No, 11.3 is the newest one right now. Okay. And this is Dale Broadwell i7 5500U with the HD 5500. So the problem with this brought well is the HDMI and the sound a lot of time for Big Sur is different I was trying to get the sound to work but it doesn't recognize at all until I found out that you have to patch the the SDT for it to to see it so now I have sound and also the HDMI sound didn't work so I have to fix it also for it to work now pluggable too before I could even plug it in hot plug unplug plug Okay, so I'm going to go through this and show you how you're going to get the Broadwell sound to work on both HDMI and this one is ALC255 Realtek Okay, about DSDT patching so there's two ways you can do this one is you can go I take the DSDT from read write everything so I have a tutorial on, on how to do that or you can get it from there it's very easy or you can hit F4 on the Clover boot screen and you can get it too but I prefer read write everything so I have a tutorial, or actually you can go to uh, Rehab Man website and you learn how to disassemble. We need to create a ref.txt and inside here you will have all of these and then you create this ref text, alright? So after you do that, then you're going to CD, drag this whole thing inside here, and you CD in there. You're going to drag ISL into here because with the Big Sur, you cannot really, it's a pain to install this into the bin, user bin. So we just go straight from here, okay? and then we're gonna do minus DA minus DL minus FE refs text and the SDT and SSDT okay so we're gonna disassemble it correctly now we can see all of these guys are here what I do is that I take all the DSL extension and I create a new folder called DSL. I already have one DSL before, so I have to do DSL1. And inside here, all DSL. All right, so now we're going to start to patch the DSDT on this one. Now, when we open this, make sure that we have the latest Mac ASL so I'll go to preference and if you watch my tutorial before ACPI 6.1 and you have to add the rehab man master in here okay so you will be able to patch but you have to have internet so this one's not connected 
So in order to disassemble, you, after you disassemble already, you patch the DSM is copy. So you're gonna patch something called rename DSM here. Rename DSM to XDSM. First patch. Apply and then you compile you see there's no error if you disassemble them correctly then the next patch you want to do for me is to patch the key for the backlight and then but the third one you want is the wake so you need to patch called fix wake two and then if you see changes that means it's working if it's not then it doesn't have it all right so remember that so apply and then you compile no error so the next one you want is IRQ so IRQ is very important so five patches and four changes apply compile no error so the next one you want is uh, SMB bus so SMB bus fix okay apply compile zero error and then you call the patch the instant wake from slipping from slipping on this one so the instant wake you have to watch on your PRW if you are a 6D or 0D every time when you hit this one and then you see 6D that's correct but if before is 0D you have to change it to 0D okay so if it's 0D and you have 6D here that's wrong so you have to go back in here no this one apply compile zero error so now The next one you want is the devices. The important thing is that the, the property, you have to have two. The first one is the 1B, which is the audio device. And this onboard is one, so some people put two, so watch out. Now, this is the main one, the graphics. So I use 20, 162606 and frame buffer connected type connector one type is eight is HDMI. I have to enable it. So frame buffer patch enable stolen memory. HDAGF X is important. You have to have on board. You have to have this for you to hot plug, okay? So after you have these two, then you will have everything done. You don't need to do the eject audio anymore. That's how you get it working. Both. HDMI sound and everything. 